Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today a Halloween TBR. So I wouldn't say that I am the biggest seasonal reader ever. My reading tastes do tend to alter vaguely at different times of the year. So in autumn when it starts to get colder and it starts to get darker earlier and I can feel justified in being in my pyjamas and having the candles lit at 6pm. I tend to like to read more chunky novels that I can really spend time with, more historical novels and fantasy novels, like many, many, many other readers. But I'm not really one for going in for holiday specific reads. That being said, this year I kind of fancy a dabble. I'm kind of feeling the Halloween-y vibes. I'm fancying some darker reads, some more magical reads, some more plot-driven reads. One could say more exciting reads <laughs> than I typically go for. And to be honest, I just own some really cool sounding books that kind of fit this theme, so let's do a TBR. Needless to say, these few books are ones that I am very excited for at the moment and ones that I may get to over the next couple of weeks. They won't all happen, I am sure, but these are the books that I will be prioritising and picking from. So the first book on my Halloween TBR is The Harpy by Megan Hunter. This is a new book. I was sent this proof copy by the publisher. It is one I have been highly and anticipating. It follows a married couple, Lucy and Jake, when one day a man turns up at their house and tells Lucy that her husband has been having an affair. Lucy and Jake then agree upon an arrangement to even the score of their marriage. Lucy gets to hurt Jake three times. So this is described as a dark fairy tale that is at once mythical and otherworldly at the same time as being fiercely contemporary. Basically my perfect Halloween read. I believe it explores love and revenge and metamorphosis. I'm expecting magical vibes and uncanny vibes. I think this might be quite unsettling and I also believe that the prose in here here is supposed to be very lyrical and very beautiful, which is something I really, really enjoy. I did very much enjoy Megan Harper's prose in her climate change dystopian novel at the end we start from, which I would highly recommend, by the way. So I'm very excited about this one. I think it sounds super dark and delicious and intriguing, and I'm very excited to get swept away. Next up, is The Sin Eater by Megan Campisi. This is another proof copy that I was sent by the publisher. This one actually came out in summer, I believe, but I've been waiting until autumn to pick it up. I think it sounds really good. This is a historical novel set in the 16th century that follows a 14-year-old orphan girl when she becomes a sin eater. Someone who hears the final confessions of the dying and eats their sins, taking them on for them so that they can pass on to heaven. This idea of a sin eater is fascinating to me and it's actually a real thing that existed I believe. I believe the protagonist in here ends up hearing the confessions of some of the Queen's courtiers and gets swept up into this world of royal treachery and secrets and revenge. Dark historical novels are my favourite thing to read at this time of year bonus points if it has a female protagonist, which this one does. I'm hoping for drama and intrigue and plots. I think it's going to be a very good time. Next up, is Perfume by Patrick Suskind. This is a modern classic for if I'm feeling a bit more that way inclined. Written in the 1980s and set in 18th century France, this novel tells the story of a man who has an extraordinary sense of smell. I believe he collects smells and one day sets out to make the perfect perfume when he meets a beautiful young virgin. 
So this is a book that has been on my shelves for a couple of years now. I think it sounds super intriguing. I am pretty sure I'm going to really enjoy it based off of friends' reviews. I just haven't done the actual picking up and reading of the book yet. You all know what I'm talking about. I did actually mention this book in my classics to read in 2020 video as well, so this really needs to happen. I've heard that this book is as brilliant as it is weird. And it is weird. It's supposed to be very dark and sensual. The reading experience is supposed to be completely immersive. I just need to try this one for myself and see what it is all about. And the final book on my Halloween TBR is Take It Back by Kia Abdullah. So this isn't a typical Halloween read. I don't think it is particularly spooky at all, but it is a crime thriller, so this kind of just feels right to me. The text on the front of this book says, one victim, four accused, who is telling the truth? Need I say more? I believe this is a courtroom thriller that follows the victim, a 16 year old female girl who has facial deformities and an alcoholic mother, and the defendants, four handsome teenage boys from hardworking immigrant families. So anyone who's been watching my channel for a little while will know that I don't tend to read crime thrillers all that often, but every now and again you just want the plot and the drama and the excitement that they provide. I'm excited to give this one a go, I'm hoping it's going to be fast paced and addictive, it sounds like a good time. So there we have it, those are a few books that I hope to get to this Halloween. I would love to know if you guys are seasonal readers, do you tend to pick different types of books around Halloween? Please let me know down below, and also let me know your favourite Halloween read, that would be fun. Thank you very much everyone who's watched this video, I really really appreciate you, I hope you're all having really nice weeks, and I hope you have a lovely Halloween, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!